Hey guys, welcome to the video. It's Wednesday morning. I'm headed off to training soon and I'm also gonna take you through a typical day of what I might be up to. Last week I was actually at home sick, so I wasn't training with the team. And this week, just slowly building back into it, we have two sessions today and then uh, two friendly games later on in the week as well. For breakfast, I usually can't have a huge breakfast before training, so I'm just doing oatmeal with trail mix on top. Okay, I'm back from the training session this morning. It was a good session. We were in the gym. Usually in the mornings, we're either in the gym, we do fitness, or we're out on the field doing some technical work. On the way back, I went grocery shopping, needed to pick up some stuff because I'm doing meal prep. Also, I'm trying the plant-based diet for 30 days, for about a month. I'm gonna see how it is. I'm a week in now. So for lunch, today we're doing potatoes, rice, tofu and vegetables. One thing I definitely miss about being back home is having family, loved ones around me. It just makes life so much easier. Like you, you have a long day out at work, school, training, whatever it may be and you come back home and then food's ready to go in the refrigerator. You just gotta warm it up. Whereas here, it's like you're all alone. So you have to cook every time. I'm trying to meal prep so it saves time. But yeah, it's just part of the journey. So we're cooking up the potatoes right here. We got the rice, and then afterwards, I'm gonna cook up the tofu, and we'll fry up some vegetables. Food's still cooking up, I'm gonna eat soon. Probably around 95% of the time, I eat alone, cause I'm alone here. Like I just sit at this table and eat, and what I'll usually be doing is, I'll listen to a keynote or a podcast, or if I'm in a different mood, I'll just watch something for entertainment. But I'm just gonna be watching Simon Sinek, the Infinite Game. I uh, haven't read the book, but I heard it's a good one, so this should be good. All right, we're done cooking. This is what it looks like. We got the rice, fried vegetables, potatoes, tofu, good mix of everything, protein, fats, vegetables, super healthy. Let's dig in. If you have at least one competitor, you have a game. And according to James Carthy, there are two types of games and agreed upon objective, like football. Done eating lunch, now's the time that I usually take a couple supplements. So I'm just experimenting with creatine for athletic performance. So I'll be taking this and then also I'll be taking a multivitamin just to stay healthy. I'm leaving for the second training session in about five minutes, just doing some last minute foam rolling because I'm feeling a little bit tight. I'll probably catch you guys after the training session because I want to be focused on the field. We also have a friendly game tomorrow, so probably going to do some tactical work. But yeah, should be good.
back from training your boy is exhausted it's been a long day but it was a good session we just prepared tactically for a friendly game tomorrow this groin strain i had a couple weeks ago just keeps coming back really felt it on the field today which sucks but it's probably because i was a little bit sick last week and i wasn't on the field and then today was my fifth training session in three days so just gonna have to get back into it and it's all good we're gonna keep pushing for dinner i'm just doing some grilled zucchini we're gonna warm up some pasta throw in some lentils and then also i don't know why we don't have this in canada but it's the most basic bread ever they're called zemmel here i got these from hofa um honestly someone should start a bakery shop in ottawa or somewhere in canada because this would drive in a lot of traffic but i'm just going to turn on the oven here and get this warmed up because they taste so much better when they're warm so i'm just having some dark chocolate now after i ate this is like dessert for me it's so good i used to eat a lot of milk chocolate when i was younger but a couple years back i just kind of changed and this is healthier and i like the taste more now and this one here we got fair trade, so we're representing the farmers, and it's Dominican Republic. 70% is the best one. I haven't been to Dominican Republic, but I'm gonna check it out one day. I feel like I could eat this whole thing, but I usually only eat two pieces after a meal, or once a day. Gotta keep that balance. So for the next hour and a half to two hours, just gonna be doing a bunch of work. This is my work zone, by the way. This is the setup right here. We got the couch. Okay, nice and comfy, mini table. Got the laptop, some notebooks, and uh, just three main things I want to get done. So we're just going to go through some course notes from my online schooling, then going to edit some content and work on some videos and finish off with some networking. So let's get to work. One thing I've been using to be more productive is if I know I'm going to be doing some work. So let's say I know I'm going to be going through some notes and I want to be learning something. I'll set a timer on my phone so here we got 20 minutes and as soon as I press start for those 20 minutes I'm just focused in on what I need to be working on and it's not perfect like I'll, I'll get distracted every once in a while I don't think anyone's perfect but it's just a tool you can use to become more productive and really try and focus in on what you want to work on in your next block of time I find that 20 minutes for me is a good period of time to stay engaged and then when the timer rings, you get up, you take your break, and then you come back and you refocus. But just try and minimize distraction when you're working because distraction is the end of your creative production. All right, so I'm doing some networking for the next little while. What I'll usually do is I'll send out some emails or I'll use social media to try and connect with people or cool companies. So with networking, the most important thing is to just keep sending out messages, keep trying to connect with people because the more of that you do, the greater the chances are of hearing something positive back. Even though most of the time you probably won't hear back and it won't be that encouraging, you just have to keep the car moving forward. And keeping the car moving means to just keep sending out messages and keep trying to connect with people because if you just send out one, two, three messages and you don't hear back and you stop, you'll be like that car on the side of the road with a flat tire, just stationary. Nothing's gonna happen for you. But if you keep the car moving, keep trying to connect with people, uh, you'll move down that road, you'll discover new things, people will come your way, and all it takes is one connection and one interaction to hopefully have a positive change in your life. Because at the end of the day, life is about the people, life is about making deep, meaningful connections, and every meaningful connection starts with that initial interaction. So if you can be proactive and intentional uh, with creating that first interaction, then you're setting yourself up for success. All right, it's time for the last snack of the day. Gotta get those calories in. Uh, also, gonna have to do the dishes after because the kitchen's looking a little bit messy right now. But for the last snack, we're just gonna be doing the trail mix, get some healthy fats in, and then also protein shake. All right, welcome back to And that pretty much wraps up the day. I just did some stretching to help lengthen out the muscle fibers before I go to sleep because it helps with recovery and repair overnight. 
and today was good overall it was a challenge physically mentally socially as is every day but i like that i like challenges that's why i decided to step into this environment because i knew it would uh, push me out of my comfort zone and challenge me for the next little while and uh, I'm trying to tackle each day with a learning mindset both on the field to develop as a player but also off the field to learn more about life and uh, to just find joy in the process of becoming a better version of yourself day in day out but that's it for today I hope you enjoy that typical day in the life I already brushed my teeth uh, so I'm going to finish off with some journaling and then I'll head to sleep see you guys next time peace